Uh, it's been such a pleasure to speak to people in person. So many, so many of these organisations we've just been so inspired by. So Friends of the Dart um, <clears throat> began about a year ago after a summer of really low rivers and many, many reports of people getting ill. So um, one of our little swimming group, I'm a swimmer that swims every day in the Dart, um, posted something up on Facebook, you know, who's been getting sick? from swimming in the river, and she had 150 replies within 24 hours, including two GPs who'd also documented over 200 cases each. So they kind of propelled this into action, really, and what happened was a small team of swimmers came together and said, okay, actually, we need to really look at this. Does anybody know what's actually in the water? And we started digging, we started asking organizations, and. The feedback we got back was, no, nobody really knows what's in the water. So, and we learned about all these different projects that are beginning to find out, and it seems like we've kind of popped up at exactly the right time where other organizations are really engaged with making that data available, um, you know, testing the water thoroughly. So I'm, I'm really excited about what's coming in terms of how that's going to um, inform us and inform the action that we need to take in order to remedy the pollution issues in the river. And I know that you know the River Dart is one of the cleanest rivers in England, but there still is a significant issue. Um, so for the Dart, for, for friends of the Dart, it's not just about um, it's not just about swimmers. So what happened then is we set up a Facebook group, um, actually initially to support the Dart Charter that Jen mentioned, um, and it just grew exponentially, and we're now up to around 800 members with you know, five, 10 people joining every day as people hear of it. And so we're not just a group of swimmers anymore, we're a group of kayakers and paddleboarders and um, sailors down at Dartmouth and motorboat owners, um, anglers, landowners, so I'm really enjoying this sense of collaboration and connection, which is really what Friends of Dart is about. We're about connecting people, um, people who love the river, and um, can I have the next one? Um, and um, yeah, our inspiration really is about connection and collaboration, and somehow being a bridge and an interim between organisations that are doing doing amazing work, and yet we had no idea about them until we really started looking at the detail. Um, there's some amazing studies going on, but nobody's getting the information. So we're kind of, part of what we're doing is building an online platform that can share this information, that can share the volunteer opportunities with you know, various projects that are happening, share the, yeah, share the amazing things that are going on. Um, but I think foundationally, we're, we recognize that when people are connected to nature, when people have an understanding of their river, then they want to take care of it. Um, so one of our first projects is um, we want to, we're just at the point of looking at getting funding and we want to do a series of um, <coughs> in-person talks with experts. I'm so excited about this because there's some amazing experts. And um, yeah, so this is something that's gonna be happening hopefully in the future. Um, other things that we're really interested in doing is, as I've said, putting, putting organisations in touch with volunteers. Um, we're working quite closely with um, different bodies, the Environment Agency, Southwest Water. We've been very much involved in their stakeholders <coughs> meetings and we're, look, we're having quite lengthy conversations with them about the best ways to disseminate information. So they're doing um, a lot of testing on the river at the moment. Um, so we want to have that data available and <coughs> in a format that's really accessible, that really gives you the information that you need to assess whether you're going in the water that day, whether it's safe to go in the water, um, but also to raise awareness of the, the river and the ecology around the river um, 
how it's affecting the, the animals and the plants and what we can do about that, what we can begin to do about that. We're, we, you know, we're very much learning as we go and collaborating with a lot of different experts. Um, one of the projects, another project I'm really excited about is um, a collaboration with Ex Exeter University and Elitza here, who is um, studying anti antibiotic resistant bacteria. So we're going to be working with uh, the FOD team in studying swimmers and studying the water in a really comprehensive way. So yeah, that's that's really exciting. Um, and yeah, we we kind of we kind of see ourselves as a bridge. We've <coughs> one arm of um, Friends of the Dark. We recognise there's a need for <coughs> movement in government. Um, one of the things we're really interested in is lengthening the bathing water testing. I haven't even mentioned bathing water yet. So we're applying for um, bathing water sites along the length of the dart, currently looking at six or seven different sites. Um, two of them are really quite well progressed, um, working alongside the landowners. And um, so if you have bathing water, a bathing water site, we're seeing it as a tool really for um, accountability. <coughs> what it means is that the Environment Agency has to test the water at the moment from mid-May to the end of September. They have to come and test the water weekly for two different kinds of bacteria. So alongside our bathing water designation applications, we are asking through, um, through our MP, who hasn't yet taken action on it, we would really like you to go ahead and ask your MP too. We'd like to lengthen that period from uh, three months uh, to a whole year of testing for bathing sites. I mean, I certainly, I swim every day throughout the year. And um, to also increase, we've been working closely with surface dense sewage to increase the amount of things that are tested to the, the seven. Um, anybody who's interested in the details back can ask me about that. But I'm aware I'm going over time, but yeah, I'm really, yeah, really kind of enthusiastic and um, inspired actually to be here and to see everybody's passion for the river but um yeah thank you thank you very much brilliant wonderful i had no idea um at the severity of the i saw that facebook post in fact oh. about yeah i did see that about the illness in the dark great goodness yeah